How's it going everyone? Hope you're all doing well. I hope these videos are useful and are of some value to you. In this video, I want to go through one activity, one very simple activity that you can help your child or the player that you're working with to improve their line and length as a bowler. A good line and length is very important as a bowler because it doesn't matter how fast a bowler bowls or how much they can turn the ball, if they are unable to control where the ball lands, they just won't be as effective in matches, especially against good batsmen. If the bowler can actually control where they can land the ball, then they've got one up over the batsman and they are then able to bowl specifically to what the batsman's weaknesses are. And that's very useful in matches. So let's start with working on the length. First thing, we'll mark the different lengths. We come to the stumps, count four steps, four big steps. One, two, three, four. And at this point, or on this line, you can put down either some cones or you can put down even one stump or just something that will separate this line from the other lines that we're going to mark. Once we've mapped out the full length, now we can mark the good length. From the full length line, we do another four steps. One, two, three, four. Same as we did for the full length, we'll mark the good length line. So this again can be done by cones or you can use a stump. And finally, we can also mark a region for the yorkers that would be just in front of the crease. So as you can see on the screen, there's zone number one, which is the yorker length, zone number two, which is full length, and zone number three, which is your good length, and zone number four, which is behind the green cones, which is short. And now it's very straightforward. The bowler bowls, starting with the Yorker length, second ball, full length, third ball, good length, fourth ball, short, ball after ball. Because there's four zones, they go five rounds, so 20 balls in total. And the scores can be marked, so every time they hit the right zone, they get the point. And now let's have a quick look at one of my players who's doing this drill. Yeah. Feel your fingers releasing the ball. Good. Okay, great. Now let's look at working on the line. Starting just outside leg stump, that's where we'll put the first line. And this can be, again, the cones or the stumps. And then we finish that zone on off stump or just outside off stump. So this will be zone number one. And the second zone, take one and a half feet from the white cones. So this is zone two. And outside the green cones will be zone three. Zone one on the stump line, zone two, which is just outside off stump line, and zone three, which is a little bit wider. And exactly the same as the length activity, the bowler then bowls zone by zone and then repeats. And this time, because there's three zones, the bowler can bowl 18 balls, count your scores, add it up. Now let's move on to the third activity, which is a mix of line as well as length. Stand outside your off stump and count four steps again. One, two, three, four. Drop a cone. This will be the center. From here, go one step out to the off side and one step straight and one step back in. So this is your first square. Go back to the center and repeat. This is your second square. Go back to the center and repeat towards the stumps. This is your third square and you can then complete the fourth square. The bowler now Bowls from square to square. This will be a mix of line and length, starting with square number one, then next ball square two, next ball square three, next ball square number four. So this time the bowler can again ball 20 balls, five rounds and see how they go. These three activities can be used for a fast bowler as well as for a spinner. It's all about working on line and length. So I hope these activities were simple and straightforward to follow. If your player is still struggling or if they're not able to bowl in the line and length that they choose or they decide, let me know. You can send me their videos. I'll have a look at the bowling action and I'll send you feedback. Otherwise, there are other videos as well on this channel, which also go through some techniques for bowling, which can improve line and length. In any case, if you have any questions or any concerns, let me know. I'll get back to you straight away and I'll see you next time.